Hey guys, it's Angie. I am here today for you with a redo of an old look. This is the modern gothic pinup look. I think I did it like a year or so ago. And yeah, the problem with that video is it is a picture slideshow and it was also muted by YouTube. So I don't know how good of a tutorial that is. But a few of you have requested a live tutorial, and this is it. This is for you. Um, I have switched the colors up. I thought I'd be a little more festive for Valentine's Day with red and red. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And remember, you can change any of these colors to, to fit whatever you want. So, yeah, let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, so I've started with Urban Decay Primer Potion on my lid. Now I'm going to take milk and just kind of dot it wherever. And then rub that in with my finger. Now I'm going to take this shade. This is Carmine from Raving Beauty Cosmetics. And I'm going to kind of take a small little angled brush, just the lid push it into the brush, tap it off so there's no fallout. And then I'm going to create kind of a wing kind of shape. And then I'm going to bring that down. Like a boomerang sort of. and then slightly drag that towards the inner corner. So now I'm going to take a skin, a matte skin tone shadow and just pack it onto my lid. Also going to place that onto my brow and blend down into that red. Now to help define that crease a little more, I'm going to take a a bit darker of a red. This is from Raving Beauty. It's called Crantini and it is matte. And kind of do the same thing that I did with the brush with the lid and the swirl it, tap it, you know, push it into the brush, tap it off, and get a little bit of the excess off into your hand. And we're going to go in right where the crease is, the fake, the faux crease if you want if you will. And just define it, define that line. And then blend up into the carmine. And for even further crease definition I'm going to take an artist brush. This is a Le Cornell 793 angular flat brush. And even like an eyeliner brush would work. And you're just going to go where that line is again. Same process. And just blend it up into the Crantini. Now comes the hard part, which is the three wing liner. So what I like to do um, is to create kind of a template. And I do that with my ankle brush. It still has that little bitty bit of black eyeshadow left on it. And I'm going to kind of figure out kind of where it would, the point would be. So I'm going to start by just lightly winging it out, just lightly. And we're going to go over that with liquid liner, so I'm just kind of figuring out where wings are going to be. It's going to help a lot, a lot, a lot. So, and the next one is going to come up kind of on to my brow a bit. And these don't have to be like line lines, these can be just ghost like tracings 
So I'm going to start with my Miji eyeliner pin, shake it up, and I'm going to first just line my top lid, just a very small thin line on the inner eye. and then a little thicker as you get towards the outside of your eye the outside corner and then change to the magnifying side of the mirror really quickly you're going to follow those lines And if you mess up, there's always Q-tips. Okay, and you're going to want to make sure that is smooth from your eyelid to the wing. And now you're going to do this little guy right here. Just kind of go under and follow that line. And wing it out. So for this one, I'm going to tilt my head backwards and take my pin and sort of line it up to create this wing. And again, create kind of a flowing effect by connecting that to that line and to your top lid and move ever so slightly build it up. I know what I'm saying I'm concentrating too hard Okay, so using that same kind of artist brush, I'm just going to line my bottom lid with that carbon shadow. Get a little bit more on there. Just gently lining it and connecting it to that bottom wing there. I'm bringing it all the way in to the inner corner. So I'm going to take Max V line and. Um, Line my waterline, the upper and the lower. Now I'm going to apply Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. And for lips, I'm going to use red, because you might as well. Um, it also looks really good with a nude lip, but I'm just going to do red. Might as well go all out. So this is a lip liner from Avon in Cherrywood. Just going to line my lips. So I applied Diva from that over that and that is it for the look. You can add a gloss if you want. Um, otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and take care. Bye.